Grey Britain. Uh, it's basically a massive statement from us about the world today, you know, pretty much everything wrong with the world, it's just a scathing attack. And uh, Frank wrote these lyrics and, you know, the music really backs it up, it's like a bit of a concept record too, so it's just a lot of themes that I think people all over the world can relate to. I think like there's a lot of things that are happening in England and like also happening around the world. Like, um, it's like, uh, like for me personally, I've got a massive problem with this whole like greed, like people at the top of a, you know, the scale, the ladder, just like taking everyone's money and then like you know just, just making. I don't know. It's just like the whole corrupt nature of like the political system over in America as well and back home and like, you know, there, there are a few, few of the points that Frank touches upon in his lyrics. And like, there's, you know, we're also like, not a fan of like organized religion. Like we see a lot of flaws in like that kind of whole system. And so like, you know, they're all, they're all issues that like, we, we try to like bring to people's attention. And, you know, it's like we're giving our opinion. And I think it's, it's just, we share the same opinion as uh, a lot of other kids out there. and. Uh, you know, the kids of the future, so they need to like be aware of what's happening around them. When we did our first album, it was uh, it was a very personal record. Like we only it only cost us like a thousand pounds to record, and it came out on a DIY label. And then like obviously like Epitaph released it in the states, and you know it got us a lot more attention. And this time around, like we're doing it, we had like we had money to record a good album, and uh, you know it's, we might as well say something because like no one else in the music industry is like bands tend to just like sing of songs about going out doing drugs or like you know breaking up with girls and there's there's like more important issues out there and i think you know we're trying to take it back to like the old school where where bands you know they wrote protest songs and you know their lyrics meant something and that's you know the lyrics mean something to us as well well back home we was we got signed to like a DIY label first and then uh, warner brothers picked us up in england and uh, we decided to release it on Epitaph over in the States because like, we're a massive fan of Epitaph. It's released some great albums like bands like Refuse, Converge, you know, even stuff like No Effects, Bad Religion. So it, just, it seemed like a logical step for us. But like with this next record, because it's like such an important record to us, like, we just want to, you know, like try out being on like a major label in the States and see what, see what they can do for us. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens. I think the big difference with, between the scenes is that over in the UK there's still a big emphasis on like indie music and pop and over here I think there's a lot more scope for rock bands like us. You know, I, I can really see our songs being played on daytime radio in the UK. Sometimes they are and they just get a lot of complaints. So I think over here, you know, I think we, we could do really well because the album has got a message and I think a lot of kids over here are going to relate to that. So. Hopefully, you know, people hear the songs and they'll just go out and check out the album, see us live when we play in Warped Tour. And that's all we can hope for, really. It's pretty weird for us because, uh, you know, we started out the band and never really had any influences. You know, we played what we wanted to. So now all these bands are coming out trying to, I don't know, copy the Gallo sound. It's a bit strange and, like, not many of them do it very well. Like, so in a way it's cool, but in a way it's not because we don't want to influence bad music. So... There's a, there's a few cool bands out there who we really like, you know, like bands like Ghost of a Thousand from the UK, they're awesome, you know, and they've been kind of pitched into the same genre as us, but, you know, there's for every good band that comes out of it, there's probably like five bad ones, so... So you're itching I'm to just, I was going to say something. Um, <laughs> basically, I think, like, if you're a band out there and you want to play music, you should literally just, uh, like, don't be the next whatever band. You, you should start the trend kind of thing like you know don't don't go out there being like oh, i want to be the next my chemical romance or like yeah we're going to be the next fallout boy you you want to be the only like you know we want to be the gallows and other bands be like we're going to be the next gallows and stuff like that so you just want to you just want to start off trends and like you know play music you believe in and uh if you believe in it that much i'm sure other people will as well um the thing about the goals and uh gallows is that like we never start off with any particular goals and like you don't actually realize what your goals are until they happen so so if someone was to say oh would you like to be on guitar hero like you know two years ago like we would never even 
think about it, do you know what I mean? And be like, what? That's, that's ridiculous. And then next thing you know, you're in Guitar Hero and, you know, things happen and then, then you realise how cool they are. Like, being on the cover of magazines, like, we never expected that to happen. We never set out to be on the cover of magazines, but when it happens, it's like, that's awesome. Like, you know, I'm really glad. So you kind of like, you kind of realise your goals as they're taking place, if that makes sense.